Coming up, we have the return of Funny Signs, plus a sci-fi editorial. So enjoy the ride. You've just been teleported into Rob's Universe. You have entered an alternate dimension, a journey into an individual's imagination, a new entertainment experiment. For the next few moments, you will experience the wonder, the mystery, the really weird dorky humor. From this great city, on this dark planet, you have ventured into an outer realm which we call Rob's Universe! Alright, welcome back to my universe. Thank you for joining me. Well, first up, we have the return of Funny Signs. Well, you, the viewers, have spoken. You told me that Funny Signs was funny. I got a lot of good uh, positive feedback on that. So I decided to bring it back. And plus I happened to observe some signs I thought might work for the segment. Now, once again, these are actual signs that I encountered during my travels that I thought were funny or kind of odd. All right, let's get started here and take a look. Here's the first one. Free cardboard. Actual sign at an actual business. I guess they sell clothing. It's refreshing. While other places have that cardboard surcharge, this place has free cardboard. I hate it when I make a large purchase and then I get price gouged for the box. But here, I guess they have a surplus of cardboard. Perhaps they can also throw in a cardboard sign that says free cardboard in case you take too much and then you have to get rid of it. At a local wine shop I noticed something. It's good to have options I like to say. You see they have kegs and just in case you're not the type that can pound a keg in one sitting they also have kegs to go. Always good to have options in case you weren't known as the keginator in college. What's up with the caution wet floor guy? I mean, he doesn't seem like he's being very cautious to me. Come on, you're on the caution sign. Can't you set a better example? The word caution is all around you, yet you're casually slipping and falling. I think this sign should include a warning, something like, don't be like this guy. He is clearly not being cautious at all. Now, this one is a label, but that's in the same ballpark as a sign, right? Anyway, I bought these granola bars, and there are instructions on how to open the box. They actually think I need help opening a box of granola bars. And look at this, it says there are two ways to open the box. Like I said earlier, it's important to have options. Just in case the first box open method doesn't work, they have provided the consumer with a valuable second option. So the importance of options would be the takeaway there. Well up next we have a sci-fi editorial. This could be interesting. Let's take a look. So I'm wondering, when will the aliens leave Soldier Field? I mean, clearly that is an alien spacecraft of some sort. That's the only logical conclusion that one might reach. What else could it be? The aliens came here years ago and for some reason parked their ship at Soldier Field. Must have been the only facility big enough to accommodate the outer space being's craft. Now, if they won't leave, I would like to request that the aliens fix their chameleon software. That way, it would be able to blend in with the surroundings instead of being this big intergalactic eyesore that just looks terrible. Now, of course, the aliens have been here for a long time, so probably they would never leave. But if they did, I imagine it might look something like this. Ah, 
All right, so there you have it, a sci-fi editorial. Hope you liked it. Well, I'm not so sure the aliens liked that segment. Oh well, I guess I may take some heat for that one. Well, I guess we've reached the end of another episode. I do thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate our time together. Be sure to dial me up again in the future for more of Rob's Universe. Universe.